All right, welcome back to another review. I hope everybody is having an excellent week considering everything that's going on out there in this world. Hopefully everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful week. Now today we are going to be taking a look at the Netflix originals Masters of the Universe Revelations Stinkor. Now, this guy here, I love him. He's great, he's awesome. I've been waiting for this guy for a while finally. Here he is, I got him, and you know, hey, it is one of the characters that um, they did, I believe that they did a fantastic job with this guy. All right, so as usual, let's take a look at his accessories, and then we'll go over articulation, paint, all the good stuff that we always do. All right, so starting off, let's start off with his hands. Now he comes with two sets of hands. You see he has a fist here, he has an open hand there or a gripping hand now he comes with a second gripping hand and i'm gonna slap the taste right out of your mouth the yellow off your teeth and i'm gonna hand it right back to you type of hand <laughs> all right then he comes with his standard blue shield now if anybody remembers in the original masters of the universe stinkor only came with a shield and in the Origins line, he only comes with a shield as well. He doesn't come with any weapon, which, you know, I, I guess eh, it would have been cool to see him come with a weapon. But he doesn't, so... <clears throat> oh well, it is what it is. And then he has his alternate head. And I like this alternate head very much. I like the way he has this um, gas mask over his face, so to speak, on, on what he has. Um, <laughs> I don't know why he would have it to cover up his own smell, but... Yes, and then and then and then you have the head that he comes with that's on him, which is more like the vintage head, somewhat, somewhat. Now, in the Masters of the Universe uh, 2000 X series, the Mike Young production one, they actually tell you what kind of species he is. I I, I can't remember if it was pro prolong pro. Long, pro Proling something, proling something, a preling. I don't know. If anybody remembers, leave it in the comments down below, please, because I can't remember right now off the top of my head. It's been a while since I've even seen that one, but he was actually really cool in that series as well. He only got 15 minutes of fame in the new one, but what are you going to do? But here he is and fabulous. So let's take a look at his paint sculpt. So with the paint sculpt, I mean, I have a couple. Here's and there's on him. Um, nothing that's gonna break the bank. The head sculpt itself, that's a nice head sculpt. I like that. I love the way the teeth came out. I love the eyes. Uh, this is actually kind of close to the classic look on the way that the ears or hair, I, I think, I believe this is supposed to be his ears right here, right? Uh, close to that old merman uh, head sculpt that's what they used back in the day was merman's old head sculpt and then you have mechanex armor um <laughs> instead of it being blue of course they were used it and it's yellow uh and and brown with you know a little bit of red right here not too bad i mean mine's missing a little bit here i don't really you know gripe about that too much um moving on to the top of the head a little bit of white right there and then moving to the back of course he has his tank so this, this is an addition that i do like now, I know in the um, Mike Young production, the 2000X series, he has these tanks on his back as well. I have seen statues with these tanks on him. I think that's really cool because that adds to his uh, power, right? To, to actually give him uh, uh, the, the stink, or maybe it's just oxygen tanks. Uh, I always thought it was maybe because of the stink. It, it, it holds his stink in there. So, um, I know in... <laughs> <laughs> I know in the Revelation series, he kind of belches it out, which, all right. I mean, I kind of like the fact of, like in the 2000X series, uh, I think he had the, the covering over his face. I'm not too sure. I, I do believe he did have a covering that went over his face and, and it had hoses or something. And, you know, he would make it, psh, the gas come out of the tanks. So I think that's a cool addition. They're painted um, blue. You can see a little bit of whatever here. They're kind of lightly painted so you can see a lot of running through in the plastic maybe that's just the way the mold was 
whatever, it's still pretty neat. I like the way they did the, the belt. Coming down to the belt, standard Master of the Universe belt and fuzzy shorts or overlay. But you know, they, they did some brushing on this, which is really nice. So it brings it, it brings it to life. And once again, the white coming down, the skunk colors coming down on the arm here. Nicely done. His gloves, you know, they're just to cast it in the uh, red color or maroon color. Moving down to the legs. I like the way they did the fur. You know, not too bad, not too shabby. And then down to the feet. And I like the way they kept him with his uh, reptile feet. I know that's what they called the original buck back in the day was, uh, was a reptile buck. So they used these type of feet, but yeah, his, his skunk clawed feet. All right, so moving on with the articulation of this figure. This guy, he can look up that far. He can look down that far. I think that his armor gets in the way right here and you can pop the armor off here and here. I'm not gonna do it because I find this a pain to get back on. So I apologize for not doing that and hopefully you guys aren't too upset. He can look side to side. He has a little bit of head tilt once again. The sides of the armor right here hit. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna try and push this down. Just kind of push it down. He, he gets a little bit more of a head tilt forward, but that still gets in the way quite a bit. Standard Origins um, articulation as far as when it comes to the shoulders, they come out, they can move all the way around. And he has double jointed elbows. Mine are stiff. I always find these guys are always stiff well, when it comes to the joints, which is nice. A little bit of white paint there, I just noticed. I didn't notice it before. He has a upper bicep swivel, no forearm swivel. He does have a wrist swivel and he does have wrist bend side to side. It's a little difficult because the glove kind of stops that from happening. So if you push your thumb, see it pops it right out of the peg. Mine are really stiff. They don't want to, they really don't want to move too much, but I guess that slight, slight, that little bit, that's all you're going to get out of them. He has an upper torso bend and his ab crunch is that far forward, this far back, and he does have a waist swivel. Moving down to legs, he can do the splits out this far. He does have a upper thigh cut. And he has double jointed knees. His double jointed knees go pretty far. Not too shabby, not too shabby whatsoever. And then moving down, he has a boot swivel and then down to his ankle articulation. Side to side, forward only that much, back that far. The way he, this ball joint is made, I don't know if that's twisted around the wrong way or that's just the way it was made, but you don't get too much um, articulation with this guy here. So give me a second. I'm going to fix him and I'm going to pop his alternate head on and then I'll uh, we'll go over the, uh... <laughs> see I can't even get him to stand back up. And I will go over the the, the hands, different hands, we'll get the articulation. So let me get, give me a second, I'll get him fixed. Oh, there he goes, down, down, down. Okay, see, uh, he just, I don't know. That's a little peeve, but all right, I'll be right back. All right, so here he is with his alternate head on him. And I just want to take a second now that I got this one off and I want to just show you a little bit better on how it looks. I mean, if you look at the eyes on him, I mean, he's like angry or just, uh, there's more expression in these eyes uh, with Stinkor than these eyes here. These eyes have more of a little, I don't know if you want to say deception or just stoned look to him. <laughs> All right, so uh, popping off the hands, it's just a simple thing. We all know, you just grab the hand, pop it off, make sure the peg comes with it, of course. I've not had that issue, thank God for that. The, you know, them breaking or coming off. Let me just pop it back on. I'm just gonna pop this hand off here. And we're gonna put uh, his shield, Oop. and his shield, you have a bigger side underneath. I didn't even go over. I like the way that they do this inside here of the shield itself. Um, and, and the bigger side is to slide over the forearm. So normally what I like to do is I like to move this over on here first, get it up and over. 
I don't know if I'll be able to do that like that. Hmm, I might be wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could slide over. Maybe they make it big enough. I could be wrong. I know, uh, who was it? Um, Faker, I think I had to. Oh, all right. I was incorrect with this guy. But Faker, you had to take his his hand off, I, I, if I'm not mistaken. And there you go. He actually holds his shield very well. And then while I have him here, this head, you can pop this mask off, which is nice. And then you have him, he actually has that little, you know, open mouth. So you can actually have him to where he's spraying out his uh, um, stank. Stank come flying out of his mouth. But yes. And then, and, and like I said, he's just, uh, you know, I don't know. If it's just, just the look on his face with the whole thing all the way around. It's not really angry. It's more like of a, like I said, like he's stoned off of his own stank. And then, you know, the ears, everything's still the same. Uh, no difference. I mean, a little bit of difference in, in, in the expression of the eyes. But like I said, besides the, the lids coming down some on the eyes and making them look stoned. Um, and the hole in the front to hold on the mask. It's pretty much just the same kind of head sculpt. Just a little, you know, slightly different, I guess. Just slightly different. All right. So... Now that we got all of those out of the way, uh, let's get into some comparisons and let's end this review. Uh, this one's pretty quick, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, let's get into these uh, uh, comparisons. Here's how he compares to the Four Horsemen's Mythic Legion's Krona. And here's how he compares to the amazing Yamaguchi's Revel Tech Arkham Knight. And last but not least, we have the Masters of the Universe Origins stink or now i just want to real quick really really quick i just want to move this guy back a little bit right okay and let's just take a quick look shields almost exactly the same hands exactly the same there are the reptile feet all right and then his fuzzy shorts are orange which his loincloth is a little bit longer but then you look at the armor this armor here has more detail in it than our Revelations armor does. All right, whatever, it's neither here nor there, but Origins has a lot more detail on it. All right, not to go over this figure, and then the, of course there's no tanks, but what I want to show off is the face. So these two here aren't exactly the same, but, but if we, Give me a second. If we take off, oh, there goes the mask on the floor. If we take off his mask, <laughs> these guys look almost identical, except for the fact that the wide eyes are on this guy here. And this guy has the, uh, yeah, he has the stoned looking eyes on him. But otherwise, I mean, if they would have painted his teeth white, you would have pretty much almost the same look almost identical. So that's actually really cool to, to, to see. And the markings are all the same and you know, they both have Mechanex armor on them and both come with exactly the same exact things. So just really quick, that was, that's really cool. Um, comparison with this guy. I like him, I like him a lot. All right guys, so just really quick, I just wanna go over, of course it is standard revelations um, you know, movement. So <laughs> the articulation is just, you know, it's the standard. But as far as, you know, adding him to your collection, if you are a Stinkor fan, this is a guy to pick up. I think that it's great that he has that look while he has that mask on his face of not being able to uh, be able to stand his own stank, his own smell. I think that's awesome. To have the two different alternate heads to where you can have his, his head off of him, I think that is awesome as well. And I, I think that that's one of the, the things too with him is that his smell was so overpowering that he couldn't uh, stand the smell of his own self. So that's why he actually had that mask on and, and the tanks were to hold it. And I don't know, if you go back, check it out. If you guys remember any of that stuff, just leave it down in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, 
Yeah, as far as um, pet peeves, I mean, well, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, review of the Master of the Universe Revelations Stinkor. I had a great time doing it. Remember, always, please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. The more likes, the more subscribers, the more the channel grows. And please help this channel grow because I enjoy doing this stuff. And like I said, if I hit 4,000 um, subscribers, I will do a giveaway. Trust me, I have some things to give away, but I'm just, you know, not getting up there. Hopefully eventually. Guys, um, And I, before I go, I just want to say thank you. That right there, the uh, amazing Spider-Man, uh, I mean the, sorry, the symbiote Spider-Man in the back doing the kickflip with the skateboard. Toyo Photo, thanks man for the idea. I just have to give you a shout out because that was a great idea and I needed something to do for the background. Thanks for the idea, man. Appreciate it. Um, anyway, if you haven't seen his stuff, check out his stuff on Instagram and also on YouTube. Anyway, with that being said, guys, I'm going to bring this review to an end. And as always, I'll catch you on the flippity flip.